These two are very known Instagram couple. So what a lot of people don't know is right before we started H&K, that was my moment of how do I get my laugh back? How do I wow. start? Have y'all ever been broke together? Because we've been broke together before. Listen. No, y'all, you want to have a broke contest? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when the McDonald's was making life decisions. My breaks were living. Both of our problems. Yeah. So he was only bringing home $1,000 a month. And I had no job. <laughs> Ramen noodles and peanut butter jelly. And we used to like, go, hey, we was getting fancy. We went to CC's Pizza because yeah. it was like $5 oh. a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> That's when it was $5. Yeah. Yeah. If he can't do this, this, and that, then he's not yeah. qualified. You was the one working and making all the money. Yeah. He didn't have nothing. Yes. Well, not yeah, nothing. nothing. Right. Right. And the, the mindset I knew, like, this is not going to last forever. I was like, oh, babe, we good. Like, go ahead. If you want to quit your job, just go ahead. Like, I got you. I left my job. And two weeks later, we found out that he lost his job. Yeah, we have nowhere to up. go, we have no jobs. There was a point where I found Canero just dark. Like just depression. Like question who I am and what I, like my worth. Wow. We had struggled for about 11 years of infertility. And, but now the interesting thing is IVF failed the first time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And wow. then IVF we conceived, but then we lost that baby. God ultimately wants to get the glory. And what are we talking about, children of God? Maybe you never been with a rich devil. Why aren't you married already? How real should I be? Four words, we need to talk. In any trouble that someone goes through, they, they definitely have to look on the other side and say, I'm going to make it out of this and I'm going to be better than I was before. Dare yourself to believe, even if that truth stands at odds with my past. I'm going to say it, I'm going to believe it, and I'm going to walk in there. Okay, thank you so much for being in the oh, building with man. us today. I know, we such a pleasure. Drum roll again, you want to do No, you said you had my drum roll. Drum I'm not, okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, I'll. We hear it, yeah. Last time I, I did, like, a, like, he was like, ugh, I saw the roll with the tongue. <laughs> she was like, ah. Oh, that was another message. Heard the kick. <laughs> It was a whole other thing. I love that, right? We have H -K, the H and K. Yes. The H and K. The H and K. From the actual alphabet. From, yeah. <laughs> from the actual alphabet. We are so proud and pleased. Like you are, are like our biggest celeb. Well, some of our biggest celebrities yeah. that we've had oh, on this wild. I'm no, very serious. Yeah. 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 The thing is, we don't deem ourselves celebrities okay, at all. That's our job. Oh, oh, it's our job. That's you know, okay. You guys you don't have to say it. Okay. So when y'all go through the airport and places and people recognize y'all, how, how, how does it make you feel? Still weird. It's still weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's, it's still, still weird. weird. Right. Like, it's still weird. It's nice. Like, right. And the fact that like we've made that impact and mm -hmm. they yeah. feel that. But to have somebody like kind of fade like, out and stop yeah. Yeah. Like, like, you, well, who like, want to yeah. take a picture with you, that's still weird. Like, Some of you guys may not know that I'm watching this, but these two <laughs> are very known Instagram couple. I don't want to call y'all an Instagram couple because Instagram came after y'all was a couple. So oh, that's right. Couple. Well, okay. But I see what you did. Okay. And, um, and different platforms. And they, they just bring so much life and joy to all of us, man. When you watch them, you cannot help but smile. Baby, who cares for what you've got if you're... Ow! I think I just tooted. Here you go. You didn't even struggle. You just laid down. You're not walking in that line of fire. <laughs> Give it a few minutes. You haven't been fun. Ready? I And then just in person, it's just down to earth. Like, yeah, really, the believers. I found yeah. that out. I was just like, oh, yeah, I definitely got to stay following them because I followed yeah. y'all. I was like, I'm going to give him a probationary period to <laughs> see if I'm going to follow like him. Right, right, right. You get That's 90 days. Let's see what y'all do. I'm a 90-day trial. I'm going to see if y'all really broke walking and walk. But, man, no, I, I'm just really, really proud of what you guys are yeah. doing, the spaces that you guys are entering. And even now, you guys have started your podcast, and yeah. you're talking about issues. Yeah. 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 Stuff, stuff. Yeah. 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 Tell us a little bit about your podcast before we get going. Yeah. Um, so, our podcast that 
we just dropped last week, last May first was our first our first episode. It's wow. called the Marriage Altar, mm. um, and we spell it differently. We spell it A L T A E R, mm. um, and so it's a unique twist of altar because mm. when you think about um, altar in general, A L T A R, that is the place in marriage where you walk up to. That is the place of sacrifice. Okay, um, when you are going to a place to worship God Mm -hmm. um, that is considered an altar. Mm -hmm. Um, So whether that's the marriage altar, that's a place, anything that God has created Mm -hmm. for us is now, and we now do it in obedience. Now Mm -hmm. it's considered an altar because we are in worship when we do that. So the marriage bed. Yeah. Is an altar. Come on now. Yeah. That's all I got. So, yeah. <laughs> right. And they fit, don't go straight in. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, but that's true. But it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's an altar. Mm-hmm. So you have that per, that part of worship. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but then there's the A L T E R, the mm-hmm. altering, mm-hmm. where we have to change. Yeah. There's yeah. an altering that has to happen. That's good. And we always want to be changed or be altered by the author. Yeah. Oh. And that's God. You didn't so tell it's me like, you do poetry. <laughs> That's about the only line, y'all. That's about the only line dropping that whole thing. But yeah, but it's real. There's an altar there. There's a change that had to happen to me. There's a change that happened with her. And it's continuing as Mm. we evolve, as we grow in our marriage. Man, a couple questions for y'all because you guys seem so fun online. (laughs) And everybody sees y'all. You guys are always having a good time. Like, who's the real fun one? Who's the real goofball between y'all? Is it really both of y'all? One of y'all got to pull it out of each other. It's really both of us. Yeah. Okay. okay. I am the more outgoing one. Yeah. Where I'm just going to be like, ah, okay. She's like, he'll go out in, in public and oh, just like, like, yeah, yeah, okay. Exactly. I'm like, oh, no. No, yeah, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have thought different. <laughs> really? Because when I seen you pick him up that one time. <laughs> Oh, she's, the one. Okay. No. she's the low key one. Oh. So yeah. she's the one that we'll be walking at and you may see and she'll be like, mm-mm. mm-mm. <laughs> and, and there's yeah. a joke and we are now like, oh, this girl, she's But you're the one that's going to bust out laughing. Yeah. Yeah. going to bust okay, out laughing and keep it going Ooh, and yeah. make a scene. We got a little bit of that because people always think that I'm the fool until I started secretly recording her. Really? <laughs> and she been the fool. <laughs> she been the fool. Yeah. <laughs> and she don't think of it like that. I mean, I, I don't know oh. how to get out of my bubble. I think yeah. he's just out loud. He's louder with it. Yeah. But I definitely love but it. But it's interesting yeah. when you think about social media because then looking at you guys, I would think you were very quiet. Oh, like yes. your, your persona um, is just thing. just more laid back, that, chill. Yeah. But when we met you, it was like, oh, oh, she's, 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 she's the talker. She is. I yeah. She's I was like, I love it. Like, yeah. yeah. And to be honest, I'm actually introverted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I come out, yeah, I come out like within small groups like mm-hmm. we can talk and have a good time yeah. and actually I could be the life of the party I know how yeah. but, but if I was to go into a space first of all I hate parties I hate big gatherings <laughs> I don't like being around a lot of people that's you mm-hmm. yeah, that's but me. if you wanted me to come and perform I feel like I'm wearing a mask yeah. mm-hmm. so I could be the biggest the yeah. loudest but if I were to have a preference I would want to be in the back. Yeah. Oh, but I'm starting yeah. to notice that more and more with people that are loud online yeah. in public, they are the quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Or, yes, think about yeah. it. Uh. Um, but the people that are quiet, that's because they're so loud. So they got to yeah. 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 like, like a balance. <laughs> right. So, yeah. That makes sense. That and makes we have definitely balanced each other with you because <laughs> yeah. I was way up in. She's like, baby. Really yeah. brother yeah. Brother yeah. 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 And where she was like super, uh, I'm like, come on, we got to come out. So now we kind of have a good balance of each other. Have you guys had any like, tension or conflict in regards to the fact that you guys put yourself out there so much mm. you know there was a time me and my wife was just like all right we're not about to be making these videos if we oh, don't yeah. get ourselves together but that is our true story <laughs> that's it's like and story. We, we've told our following it's like if y'all don't see videos we're working on something <laughs> or <laughs> we're fasting or like we're doing something like we don't kind of succumb to the pressures of social media yeah so it's it's been many times where it's like no nah, we're not filming today <laughs> Because okay. I don't feel it. I'm like, not yeah. feeling it. We're mad at each like other. Right I don't now. like you right now. So it's like, we got to work this out. And we never want to be that couple that turns on the camera. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Turn on right. and- Walk away from each other. Right. Like, yeah. We that don't exists. want that. It yeah. does. That exists. Yeah. It and we does. never want, we want to be yeah. authentic. So what you see is what you get. Yeah. And yeah. that's, I think, is always the beauty. If you ask old friends, if you mm-hmm. ask my college roommate, yeah. and they'd be like, 
Hope and Condition. Is that really them? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. them. Oh, yeah. Like, wow. that was them 10 years ago. That was yeah. them 20 years ago. Wow. They've always been like that. That's yeah. incredible. Well, with that, uh, I want to go down that path. Yeah. talking about challenges and tension. I'm sorry. I'm just, I've got so many questions for them. You I can see, ask yours later. I see. Okay, you go ahead. ask yours later. Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys uh, get through some of the, the tougher issues in life? Because just like we talk about on social media, some people look at us and some people say, you guys make life look so easy. Mm -hmm. You make life look so fun. You make just, do you guys struggle? And I used to complain. I'm like, why nobody ever give me no gifts or bless me with no cash apps? (laughs) I'm like, do they think like we just always got it like that? Always got money. This is an invitation. We're going to put our cash app and their cash app in there. Bless us. Right. That's what we're looking for. We need it too. Right. Yeah. So what what do you guys do or what would be those, that situation that you would have said, hey, this was a situation that could have broke us, or this is a situation that could have took us out, but we overcame. And then I'm going to ask also, just, you guys have went from here to here, you guys have, I heard your story, you guys started Humble Beginnings, Mm -hmm. and now God has been elevating you guys. I kind of just want to hear your journey to how you got from where you were. I think you guys met at what age? So we've known each other since middle Middle school, school. but officially met his ninth grade, my 10th grade year. Yes. Okay, I kind of want to know how that was it completely smooth? I just want to know <laughs> what were the hiccups you guys face and how do you guys face your challenges? Oh, man. Now? What do you guys do to make sure you guys get through? Oh, that's a little... He asked a lot. Yeah. yeah. So first, yeah. tell us how you guys met in middle school and then how you guys yeah. started dating. So yeah. the crazy thing was we we went to the same middle school, elementary okay. school. There was one road that divided us. So yeah. she was oh. on one side, I was on the other side. Okay. So we went to different elementary schools. Okay. Okay. But we all came together yeah. in middle school and high school. Okay. Um, but we never actually met. We mm. had the same circle of friends. Mm. Like, I knew her friends. She knew who my friends were. But we never really met officially. Yeah. But yeah. I knew who she was. Like, I was like, if somebody said, oh, that's Hope. I was like, oh, yeah, I know who she is. Oh, okay. We just never met. That's and, crazy. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, mm-hmm. while the, and she always, I was like, I knew her. And she'd say, oh, I ain't know who you were. I'm like, <laughs> come on now. You mean. <laughs> everybody, that's everybody facts. knew who I was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. <pop. laughs> wow. But then, and she's a year older. So okay. when she was in 10th grade and I was in ninth grade, That's we crazy. had theater class together. Mm-hmm. So wow. a lot of people see it, see that. Like, oh, there it is. Full the full yeah. circle of theater. Yeah. Y'all goofy. Y'all always. Yeah. And we, that's how we kind of met. Um, and we just had, we created a friendship there. Yeah. And it started with literally a, a young man that was stalking her. Mm-hmm. Um, and he wanted to go to a homecoming dance with her. Yeah. And she was like on a school bus. And he's like in the bus loop like, hey, I want to go. Come on, come on. And I see her. And I just walk. And I was like, hey, man, she can't go with you. And she's oh. like, well, why not? I I not that's yeah. That's 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 yeah. I was like, she's a superhero right now. You know? I was yeah. like, is she going with me? Oh. Oh, did you go with my princess? Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, she was more like in the, in the, in the, in the bus window, looking so, out the window like. I was like, yeah. yeah. Because I really did not want to go. Wow. So he was my way out. He was, okay. I was the How way out. How did you have this type of bonus at that age? It was. I, I was you goofing around? He I was, was goofing okay. around. I because yeah. I knew him. Like me and him played football together. So oh, I always knew him, and he was one of them guys. Like, oh, we always used to mess with him anyway. Oh, okay. And then I just have a. I, I'm a sucker for people that's like just people I know that I'm like mm-hmm. I'm all, I'm a servant at heart. Yeah. Okay. And so when I saw her, I'm like, oh that's messed up. Like this dude <laughs> leave her alone, <laughs> bro. Know. Like and I was like, yo, she going with me, you good. Oh, and so she was like, Yeah, all right, I guess I'm going with him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we like had class together, but we didn't hang out. So mm. it was one of the things like we're going to this dance. We really don't know each other. Wow. Meanwhile, she actually has a boyfriend. Oh. Well, I, well, Ooh. before it sounds, it sounds bad. Okay. Yeah. But <laughs> what happened was the chronological order of it all okay. was me and Kidero agreed that we were going to go to homecoming together. Mm-hmm. And so this other guy was like, oh, you know, I would love to date you or whatever. And I was like, well, I'm kind of going to homecoming with this dude, but if you want to still whatever you know because i really didn't like to say no that was another issue that Uh i had worked past Uh right so it was one of the things like sure so then that's how i ended up like dating him but yet still just honoring you know our word and what we said we were gonna do so we went to the dance it was fun her boyfriend was creeping the whole time like watching us the whole time like making sure hey i wasn't messing with this girl They break up. Okay. We didn't get to, like a week later. We, still, yeah, they break up. we didn't get together and probably date for like 
a month and a half. Okay. And then we break up because both of us wanted to be with somebody else. There was oh. another cheer. She used to cheer. Look at there that was another cheer leader. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that I was interested in. There was a guy that she was interested in. We kind of. So we didn't. Pro- we talked like when we saw each other. Hey, but that was it. Okay. And that was like a year and a half. I, we kinda, I was living my life. She was living her life. It wasn't until her senior year, my junior year. Of. Uh, uh, high, high school, school. school. Yeah. Yeah. that we okay. kind of started talking again because okay. her friend and my friend wanted to go to prom together uh-huh. so we kind of got them together we started talking then it was like all right great she graduated i'm going into my senior year and she calls me out of the blue mm-hmm. and was like hey do you want to go to lunch and i was like sure why yeah, not yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so that's when it kind of all like that was wow. it summer and then we kind of on and off just kept hanging out wow um and so in, in april t- 2005 is when we like officially like dated again mm-hmm. wow and we have been dating we've been dating ever since no. i always say we are still dating yeah. That's a um, so, so would you say the basis of your relationship was it friendship was it goofing around what was it that- it was it was just friendship it was it was being there for one another because there was a period of time where her parents were going through a divorce and yeah. she was hanging out at my house like oh wow Yo, I'm just, I just need somebody to talk to. Mm-hmm. Um, so you see those moments and maybe some people may think, oh, trauma, but it wasn't trauma. It was just, it was friendship. There yeah. was no you like, there oh, her. I'm taking advantage of yeah. the situation. Yeah. It was like, at that moment, I'm like, yo, I'm just trying to chill anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm, I was always had that listening ear. I was wow. always just wanted to be friends. I, I, that was all that was. So I think it was the friendship that matter it was just getting to know her uh, who she was but because of that i think it was like yo this friend i can't live my life without don't make me like, talk yeah. slow. <laughs> <laughs> like and i got and i went away to school so then we were doing long distance for four years because i went to pennsylvania and we're from virginia and i went to pennsylvania for school but it was like yo this girl is she used to come up like every weekend. She thinks she got a degree. Yeah, they that's still how holding it up in records. <laughs> oh, in records. You were there, yeah, yeah, they they like there. Yeah. So a long distance relationship yeah. can work. Yeah, it can. I mean, let, let's let's not paint the picture Ooh. that it was like a great. You oh, know, oh. Like, it had its moments for mm-hmm. sure. I mean, you think about a college guy. <laughs> You know, yeah. parties, all that stuff. Nose yeah. wide open. Nose yeah. wide open, new experiences. <laughs> that lukewarm life. Yeah. I love, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I love God. Yeah. Like, Yo, the party's it's over here. Yeah. 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 And that was when really when Facebook really started kind of coming oh. out. Yes. And, and pictures started and surfacing. Pictures yeah. start surfing. Yeah. And here I am on the wall with some yeah. big booty Judy. <laughs> Going it up on me, and she's like, "Wait a what minute!" What's this picture we got close yeah. on the internet? So now we're talking about the respect issue yeah. and things like that, and it's like for me, I'm like, I'm just. 18, 19, just trying to have fun. I ain't really trying to get tied down. Wow. But then there's that, there's that spirit in you that knows God, yeah. and He knows you. That's still like, oh no, this ain't gonna be something that. I don't not, get a pass just there's because no you're pass. in college. Yeah, mm. there's no pass, and this thing's gonna happen faster for you. Mm. We're not gonna go through all these ups and downs of like, oh, I just wanna live life and see the world. <laughs> and I got a chance to see the world, but you gonna, you gonna know who your purpose partner is. Wow. Um, and there was things in her that I knew I needed. That balance we talked about mm. where I'm way out there, and like, I needed that to be real mm. back in. Wow. Because there was a. I would say there was a spirit of me that's passed down. Um, you know, our, our pastor back back home at Transformation talks about if it's not transformed, it's transferred. Mm. And that womanizer transfer could have oh. happened. Wow. But there was something there was one, a praying mother. Yeah. <laughs> and it yeah. was like, no. Yeah. And then there's this woman that's like, no, nah, I, I see I see more and yeah. I see better in you. Wow. I want respect and all this wow. stuff there. I was like, Okay, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm. I'm. I need to be on this straight and narrow. Like wow. I'm gonna go to it. And there was a point that I think junior year was just like, all right, we good. But within that, going into my senior year, I knew like, um, I proposed 2008. Like, and I was wow. going into my senior year of college. Mm-hmm. I graduated 2009 in May. And we got married in June, um, and then we moved. Wow. A, a week later yeah. to Oklahoma. So. Wow. <laughs> Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah. So you talk about when you talk about struggles and challenges it was the transitions that we had to go through together mm-hmm. there's a transition of long distance there was a transition of now we're this young couple getting married we're moving to a place that 
um, I'm used to going places. She had never been out of the state of Virginia. Mm. So now wow. we're in this new place away, 22 hours from family. Everybody yeah. questioning your decision. Everybody questioning yeah. because we're, 20, yeah. we're yeah. 21 and 23 yeah. years old getting married. <laughs> and you're like, what do y'all know about love type yeah. thing yeah. Mm-hmm. to say there's more to it. There, There's purpose in this. There's and you, you just have to wait and see, yeah. but we feel it. I want to hear just a little bit more about that because we recently uh, was at an event and a young guy, 22 year old, he said, you know, we hear about all of you guys and met and you're married. He said, but I'm still young. How did you know? Like, I know you said you came from a two parent household. Your parents got divorced, but you was able to see that yeah. marriage was possible. Was two your parent, mom? Yeah, okay, yeah, so, so you saw mm-hmm. like marriage in the home, but what made you say, this is what I want to do so young? Cause I know we got married around the same age and yeah. people do question you like yeah. you sure you ready right. but a lot of times young people think they have to wait or yeah. I still need to experience this and yeah. I feel that's why a lot of people are not married now because it's like well they got married too young and that's why they're not as happy so what right. was it for you was it really your background with God or seeing it both seeing your parents together saying it's okay to get married young mm-hmm. yeah. I think for me it was the combination for okay. sure like seeing my parents grow and foster this marriage I always wanted that I, mm. I love the way the house felt I love mm. seeing them interact I mm. love everything about marriage and it was one of those things where our relationship like we did have that relationship with God and one of my prayers was always God I don't want to just be out here just living mm-hmm. life like if you have somebody for me just I'm, I'm not going to play any games like yeah. why yeah. I guess that's my thing I don't like wasting time so yeah. it's like I don't need to be out here doing X, Y, and Z. If you have my person for me, I gladly welcome him. Mm. And it was one of those things that we just kind of knew, like, okay, we have something here. Like, there's something here. And family was always like, well, you guys are young, or you guys, you know, there's so much more. But it's like, if you know. So your family wasn't encouraging you to get married that yet? Well, certain. Like, our our parents were pretty good for the most part. I feel like your mom. My mom was a little, because my mom and dad knew each other since they were second second grade. Oh. And so they then they started dating like like really dating. They at came out the womb 16, together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. started dating at sixteen. Yeah. They was married at nineteen and twenty. Oh, so yeah. in my head, I already saw y'all were my yeah. example yeah. almost. But Definitely. my mom was like, "See the world." Like, oh. but yeah, I think from, that's speaking think. from experience of maybe there was some they things she missed. Yeah. Okay, so now yeah. she's doing it. But I'm at the same time like. But there, you you knew something though yeah. that you yeah. gave it, mm-hmm. and so me it was like I know something. Mm-hmm. There's just yeah. this feeling, and sometimes we all we don't realize maybe it's, we don't realize it's God sometimes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but when you have this feeling, yeah, yeah. that that that's the spirit because that spirit lives within us. So when you yeah. have that feeling, that's what that is. That's yeah. Something. Yeah, that's your because it's true yeah. pros and cons. You yeah. get married young, the it, the beautiful bl- ignorance is bliss season is mm-hmm. happening because you guys just simply don't know so much, mm-hmm. and not mm-hmm. knowing kind of saves you because yeah, I'm sure definitely. if we all could see the road painted and illustrated before us, every way that we would fail, every way that uh, they would not meet up to our standards, we'd be like, let me second guess right. this thing. I'm yeah. sure that there's someone around mm-hmm. the corner, and I think that's what people are dealing with now mm-hmm. in the yeah. 30s and 40s. After all that experience you have, you begin to find out what you don't want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it begins to narrow your window mm-hmm. and eliminate God from yeah. the process. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now I'm not marrying someone in they talk about walk by faith and not by sight. You could equate that to walking in the ignorance of my own experience, mm-hmm. in my mm-hmm. own, the ignorance of what I think and what I know, and yeah. trusting God that the person that I'm entrusting my life with, mm-hmm. I'm not just entrusting my life with that person. I'm entru- trusting my life with a person that God has led me to, yeah. Yeah. and my God mm-hmm. doesn't fail. Right. And so just knowing that there's going to be struggles ahead, knowing there's going to be challenges ahead, and not being able to see that, yeah. the beautiful blindness of that yeah. allows you to confidently say I'm going to marry this person yeah. that's going to hurt my feelings yeah, yeah. That part. and I think it's so beautiful just to see too the evolution of it all like mm. I have known him since what 14 15 years old mm. and so like just to see you know the way that we got together and now it's like I saw you change in this way wow. or I've seen God move in your life in this wow. way or like you've grown up so much in this area mm. it's like it's just beautiful to experience I feel yes. like a lot of people nowadays is like oh you know this person does that oh no that's a red flag yeah. or I'm done mm. or whatever mm. and not to say that there's not a red flag <laughs> yes. or there can't be red flags but it's like 
okay, no, let's grow together. Yeah. Like yes. we, I feel like kind of lost that essence of people growing together, mm-hmm. figuring out life together. When an obstacle comes, okay, how are we going to attack it versus just you know giving up and quitting mm-hmm. and walking out the door? Or whatever. Yeah. So, like, have y'all ever been broke together? Because we've been broke together before. Listen. No, y'all. You want to have a broke contest? Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, we were in Hawaii because we were gifted that trip, uh-huh. but they didn't give us no money to spend in Hawaii. We ate McDonald's just about every day. And we ate it twice. Huh? We ate McDonald's twice because well, that's we, all we could afford. But when we went to McDonald's, we was making life decisions because in McDonald's, it the was combos higher. was 9 and $11. <laughs> yeah. And we really had to figure out how we're going to split this. pineapple is cheaper in here. Let's eat that. Yeah. yeah. It was like that. And when we came back home, both our of our cars, cars my brakes were literally... Both and I still kept cars. driving it. And I was like, yeah. okay. And I begged my brother, I was like, can you please take my car to get fixed? He's like, you just got me. What happened to all yeah. that money that you used, that you got from the I Bills. said, Bills. That part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when we first got married, Kadero was a GA. Mm-hmm. And so he was only bringing home $1,000 a month. Huh? And I had no job. So, okay, well, look. <laughs> no. and, I'm, and I'm thinking they said they got the gifts in Hawaii. So that means they had a good friend because the yes. gift we got was. Family. Went to Williamsburg Township to Williamsburg, Virginia, like about an hour away. It yes. was like one of them little dinky apartments. They might. And then we had to sit in the to timeshare the and a 90-minute presentation to stay there. Okay, they might got yeah. it today. Look, they might got we just saw, honey, my shot could be the heart. Look, we saw, our family ended up in Williamsburg that same week. Damn. We're like, what are y'all doing? doing? We like, like, what's wrong with you? I said, we kept, we kept trying to be here with you. Yeah, I, I yeah. said, y'all doing the most. Um, but yeah, he, he was making $1,000. Our rent was like six hundred and eight. Oh, wow. Eight. Six, six, eight. Six six away. Six hundred eight dollars. Wow. By the time we had phone bills, lights, yeah. everything, groceries, phone we literally were eating went off. ramen noodles and peanut butter jelly. And we used to like, go get like burritos. I used to microwave burritos. Yeah. Yeah. We used to get fancy. We went to CC's Pizza because yeah. it was like $5 oh. buffet. Yeah. That's when it was $5. Yeah. 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 Y'all just a little. Just a little. That thing I mean, is we, right. We had some cereal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I was like, peanut butter jelly again? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what we got to do. Yeah. Okay, let, let me ask you this, because yeah. this is important. I know you guys were young, and the, the, people will watch this and say, well, that's the expectation. When you're young, mm-hmm. you can expect to kind of struggle mm-hmm. a little bit. Mm-hmm. But there's this idea that as a woman, right, you're going into the hands of a man that can't give you a better life than you had or the same life that you had when you were with your parents. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about why you risked Mm -hmm. yourself Mm -hmm. to be in a state where, you know what I'm saying? Like at this point, like if he can't do this, this and that, then he's not qualified. And to a certain extent, at a certain age, when does that mindset become right? Does Mm -hmm. it ever become right? (laughs) What is, does God play a part in this? Mm -hmm. Is this faith and trust? Is ignorance actually okay after you reach a certain age? I want to know what you think about all this because you endured it and there's a reason why. Yeah, I would say definitely it it always makes me laugh when our pastor was marrying us and Kadero was, um, he said something about like, you know, honor, take care of your wife financially, like all this stuff and Kadero was kind of like, uh, does he know what I'm about to make? I do. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, and I do not mean to sound cliche, but I have to say it was God. Yeah. It was honestly um, conversations that I've had with him. It was potential that I saw in Kadero. I knew that his character would never mm, disappoint say me. That. Right. So it's like seeing him grow and evolve and seeing, okay, he's about that business. Like if Kadero says he's going to do something, he's going to do something. And he may not have had that opportunity at that moment, yeah. but I knew his dreams. Like I knew his aspirations. I knew the life he wanted to live. And I knew that he was the type of person to go after it. So wow. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to step out on faith. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And of course I loved him. Or yes. you still love you. But you yeah. know, like back yeah. then, like yeah. I was in love and I was like it's just it's you and I against the world at this point we're gonna figure it out mm-hmm. and you know that's that's all I could do was trust God you there. Yeah. what if it meant that you would have to eat peanut butter peanut butter and jelly for another 10 years would you have done it with him oh yeah I would have done it with him you should have started trouble <laughs> yeah of course you would have done yeah. it with him no, but I, sure. I love what you said that when you said you saw it in him before because a lot yeah. of people, my brother, he always says, people don't know y'all struggles. Like, yeah. you was the one working and making all the money yeah. and he didn't have nothing. Yes. Well, not yeah, nothing. nothing. Right. Right. But it was 
was it was me. Like yeah. we got married for my benefit. Yeah, yeah. I, I was the one. I won't say I was the provider, but I was bringing in more of the income. <laughs> and yeah. a lot of times, people look back now and they go, "Oh, Ezekiel was doing so much amazing yeah. things." But what I saw in him back then, I said he's capable. And even if he's not yeah. capable of making the money, I know I know how to make money. Right. Yeah. So money was never a thing that yeah. really you know would make me say I wouldn't want to be with this yeah. person. Right. And you and I feel like we're the same in that aspect because yeah. I was working for Bank of America at their mm. uh, corporate offices. Mm. And so when he was at college, I was working a full time job. Yeah. And so it was one of those things like that's how we paid for our wedding mm-hmm. and like all of that yeah. stuff. So like I knew how to work. I started when I was 14 years old. Yeah. So it was one of those things that, like you said, like if he couldn't figure it out, I knew moving to Oklahoma, I had to find a job. Yeah. You know? right. And we did. I did eventually find one. But it was one of those things that it was just like. I'm just going to hold it down. Yeah. And some people look at women sometimes and question that. But it's like, when you know something, mm-hmm. you just got to take your shot yeah. at it. Yeah. I got to dig in this a little bit okay. more. But why do you think, I'm asking you and I'm asking you, why do you think women feel like that idea is so disgusting? That's one. Mm-hmm. Two, what did you feel about that? Like, going into a uh-huh. situation and... She feeling like, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take care of my side. And, you know, you're making potentially $1,000 a month. And she possibly potentially making more than you yeah. if going into that situation. Did you feel a certain type of way? Did you feel like you had to compete or make more? Yeah. No, not at that time. Not at all. Because I think for me, I knew what the goal was. Mm. And the goal was then communicate to her. Mm. So this was the journey. Like it's, it, of course, like you mentioned, it's just risk. It's yeah. like, you know, stocks. It's like, yeah. I'm going to put my eggs in this basket, but there can be a return that can be great. Yes. And so, yeah, she was, she was making like when I'm as a GA and I'm going to school, but I'm only making a thousand and she's got the job. She's making more. Wow. She's bringing home more money. But there was, that was where I was in that goal. Like mm. I'm in stage one of the goal. Okay. Mm. By stage three, I'm gonna go stage two. I yeah. still may be a little under. Yeah. By stage three, I'm we're probably even, yeah. but I'm still reaching it. Wow. The one thing I think as women has to see and what men need to do is make sure you are um, your work ethic is visible. Yes. Make sure the work yes. ethic is visible. Yes. Because if it, if you if she gets up every morning, you're sitting on the couch playing video talk. Right. Right. Talk That's heavy. different yeah. than. I'm strapping it up. I'm going out there and I'm working. Yes. And you can visibly see me working. That's good. And then you see the increase. Yes. You see that as the years go by, I'm putting in the work mm-hmm. and there's the increase. And then eventually, she doesn't have to work anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm working and yeah. I'm providing fully. Yeah. Yeah. And that was that. It eventually became that shit Which, for us where it was like, she doesn't even have to work anymore. Wow. You want to come off the job when you yeah. got a point where I want to start doing some entrepreneurship yeah. stuff. I need yeah. that. Now I'm putting in the risks and putting in yes. my chips yes. on her behalf. Yes. But wow. I can do that because one, I, I she held it down for me yeah. when I was there. That's and good. two, I'm the provider and that's what I'm supposed to do. That's my responsibility. Mm. I think as men, we get so, it we're bothered down by that mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, we are supposed to be the provider. But... God also just need to you need to be working. Yeah. It's one thing if you can't provide yeah. because you, you like she just makes more. Yeah. It's another if you're yeah. not providing because you're not doing in the work. Yeah. You know, you don't work, you don't yeah. eat. Type that's of good. So I think that's kind of the, the mindset I knew like this is not gonna last forever. That's yeah. good. This good. eventually it's gonna yeah. switch to be exactly what I want. I love yeah. that. And there's something that I've always walked around with. Well, I just learned a few years ago about this idea of provider because in scripture it tells uh says to men uh, you need to be providing for the people that are in your household mm-hmm. or you're worse than an infidel, mm-hmm. right? But it also has a scripture in Matthew 6, 33 that tells us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto, yeah, yeah. Added unto us. Then with those two mindsets happening at the same time, one is saying lean on God, mm-hmm. the other is saying work. And I, I, don't, I don't think that they have to be anti. Like no, I don't yeah. think they have to go against each other. Right. One, having a heart that wants to serve, that wants to self-sacrifice, mm-hmm. and you showing your work, work ethic does not take away the fact that God is calling you to trust him. Mm-hmm. And so I believe that while men are called to be provi- providers, we're called to be providers with a lowercase p. 
Mm. God is capital P. Mm. That's right. Yeah. I mean, that's right. I might be shifting. That's why when you stepped into the job that, I mean, before you even stepped into the higher ranking job, before she took off of work, God already called you into yeah. the provider yeah. role. Yeah. So it doesn't have anything to do with the revenue stream. It has mm-hmm. something to do with how he positioned you yeah. and, and your role. And recognizing that it's more than finances, yes. right? It's God is calling you to a greater role. And then also God is calling you to submit and to trust him. Yes. Because what if you're making the six figures and mm-hmm. all that stuff and they take away your job. Does Come that on. take away Ooh, your position? Yeah. Does it take away your desire? Mm-hmm. Does it take yeah. away your willingness? No. And that's why I love what you guys said. Like I saw it in him, the yeah. work ethic in him, his, his desire to, to, to make sure that I'm good. Yeah. I saw that he wasn't lazy. Yeah. All of those yeah. things matter, yeah. but it doesn't go, doesn't take away the fact that you still got to trust God. Yeah. Still gotta and trust he's God. calling you to be a steward. Yeah. He's yes. calling you to manage. He's calling you to, to hold up that which he has given us so. and that's all work and that's all started from the beginning mm. when God created Adam the first thing he did was gave him a job mm. that's, that's yeah. from the beginning Come on. he yeah. told him to work yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're working this land mm-hmm. and then he gave him help yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Like, that's, like, uh, that's where sometimes we, we failed like he gave him help Yeah. so the help came out of him yeah. To be a support system. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. to be like, well, I guess you ain't doing enough, so I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, we can't, good. we can't be together. Right. I love it. It was like, no, I'm there to support, yeah. but you're also doing the work. That's good. So that piece is, it's just, it, it, it for me, it came easy. <laughs> um, you said something that was wild. That was like, when you, when you get to that point of that identity of work because we got to the point where I am doing everything I am working and it was then gone and so you talk about a this was shift. later on this is later yeah. on down in, later this on in the marriage 2019 that I'm doing the work all this time I've gotten to this pinnacle of where I'm going and what happens is we find identity in the work yeah. mm. Because we're going to work every single day. We're providing. Come on, bro. You sometimes forget you're the lowercase p. <laughs> yeah. And now you think you're the capital P. Mm. That's all you rely. You're relying on that, and yeah. you forget yes. that God's the source. Come on, yeah. bro. Mm. Um, and so when that thing got snatched away, I kind of lost of who I am. Yeah. Wow. I lost the self worth, wow. the self confidence. And it, when when I go back and realize it. I rely more on the performance review instead of the guaranteed promise wow. that God is, that God, that I'm beloved, that I'm a wow. child of God. Mm-hmm. I was more concerned about the performance review Jeez. and those goals. Where were you in this whole situation? How, were you on them like, come on, get up. Look, no. Well, <laughs> fool. <laughs> but the, yeah, oh, no, the, no, go ahead. No, what are you going to say? I want to say the same thing. Before. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Kadira got laid off in January, right? Mm-hmm. January of 2019. So, two weeks before that, I was like, you know, I want to start my own business. I want to work for myself, oh, all this other you stuff. You already had your dreams. Yes, That's I had my right. dreams. And so, Kadira was like, oh, babe, we good. Like, go ahead. If you want to quit your job, just go ahead. Like, I got you. Damn. So I was like, say less. So I put my two weeks in, right? Right there. And She's done. I left my job. And two weeks later, we found out that he lost his job. And at this point, our um, rent is coming to an end at our place. Yeah, we have nowhere to go. Up. We have no jobs, anything like that. So there was a very dark space. And there was a point where I found Kadero just dark. Like just depression. Because of that identity identity of who I was working in athletics and somebody telling me, thanks, but your time here is done. Yeah. Yeah. Without reason. Without reason. Yeah. It wasn't a legit reason. It was like question who I am and what I'm like my worth. And I've just fell into this place of, again, like I forgot. But and I can't even imagine it. you like that. Right, you see, right. it's so, so much light yeah. and light. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Um, Satan. I was. I had to pray. <laughs> yeah. That's always my first yeah. good. go That's to. And I'm like, Holy Spirit, help me deal with like, how do I talk to him wow. in this season? Like, how do I deal with him um, and speak life to him when I know he's not hearing it? Wow. And it was one of those things where. God was like, let him have his moment. Mm. Let him experience all of this. Mm. Um, but then 
okay, now let's get them going. Let's let's let them know. Okay, we're gonna still do date night, whether we're getting okay. a five dollar pizza from Little Caesars, <laughs> putting it in the living room. Like Dang. we're still gonna do this thing. And it was just speaking words like you're above this. Like you're <laughs> you. This is not the end. Like wow. God has so much more for you. So it's like yes, have your moment, soak in it, do all of the things, and feel the feels. But I need you to now get up. So like we started going on date nights. We started, um, I don't know, just. Just doing just random out, things yeah. and, and normalizing the season that we were in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, it and was, for me, it was hard to normalize that season because at that point, we the lease was up. So yeah. we were living in, so one of the assistant coaches, like when I got laid off, everybody, the, everybody was else was mad. Yeah. They like oh. It was like unexpected. Yeah. So when I was like, oh, we don't have any place to live, one of the assistants was like, hey, you can live in my other, he had another house yeah. oh. in the city. He's like, y'all can stay there as long as y'all want until yeah. wow. whatever wow. happens. So, but and those are the reminders that's like God is with us. Yes, you, right? Right? And definitely. so, it's hard to in those moments where mm-hmm. you're like, God is like, hey, I am giving you this grace. But in my head, I'm, like, I'm not providing for my mm-hmm. wife and family. She doesn't even have a real house. Like, this is not mm-hmm. this is somebody else's. Dang. But in those moments, you got to find those blessings. Yeah. You got to mm-hmm. find the grace. I love that. You got to find mm-hmm. that, that, I would say, that God wink. Mm-hmm. You, you got to look up. It yeah, reminds me of dark. She said darkness, and you said you got to find the blessings. And it reminds me of someone in a dark mm-hmm. room mm-hmm. having to feel around, but not feeling with our feelings, but feeling by the spirit. Yeah. Like, God, yeah. Yeah. I can't see it. Yeah. I can't but see. I know that there, this is yeah. a blessing, and I'm going to find. I'm going to dig, yes. and I'm going. I'm going to see. I'm going to yeah. discover your grace in this. I can't, yes. can't yeah. see it. I can't feel it. It don't look like mm-hmm. it, and I don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Like my eyes are closed. Lord, guide me to feel yeah. these blessings out. So that that, yeah. that yeah. metaphor is perfect because yeah. even when there's a there's a guy that's calling me. He was like, "Hey, Kadera, I got this this job. It's but it's in it's a little different what you were doing, but uh-huh. it's still in the sports. Like, you, you good? No, nah, I'm good. I don't want that. Like, I want to be in this arena. Mm-hmm. What? But I, that's that, turning down the job. I'm <laughs> turning down because I right, feel so I'm, I'm like look. he's like <laughs> you're feeling. Like, I'm touching something. All oh, this, but this ain't. But what, that, it's almost it, like it don't but feel they don't right. feel right. Yeah, yeah. 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 feel like what I'm used to. Yeah. 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 Um, my man called me three times. What? Every month, wow. at once a month. It was it was literally February, March, April. Damn. He called. By and the third call, third I said, call. Look, brother. <laughs> said, he still got I out said, for you. And, and that's the thing I, I always wanted Kadero to realize, like, if God is supposed to, I mean, if God wants you to have something, he's going to present it to you. Mm. If, even if you, like, turn it down, he's mm. going to bring it back around to you. Wow. And mm-hmm. it was one of those things that I was like, look, no other job is hiring you at this point. Mm. Like, you've always come as the second guy or, like, mm-hmm. the runner-up of this position. And I was like, what if God just wants us to be there? Like, this is the third time. I need you to say So yes. you took it. So, <laughs> so my brother took okay. it. Yeah. She, she influenced She influenced that. So you I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You take it. And that's how we ended up in Chicago. Yeah. Oh. And so that was a transition. That, that was, was just a, a normal take. Yeah. It was a, you got to yeah. go over here to mm-hmm. take it. Yeah. But okay. you see how God works? Because I always look back, Come right? On. And Come put on. it all together. Illinois is one of the states that covers about 90, 95% of infertility, like IVF, right? So you guys know that we had struggled for 11 years. That was right here on the list. We're going to go there. I'm not talking about something. Yeah. But now you, you just, that was great transition. Yes. Mm-hmm. So wow. we had struggled for about 11 years of infertility. And we looked up and, you know, IVF normally is like fifteen, thirty thousand dollars 30000 something mm-hmm. like that. And I was like, God, we have been trying. We would love to try IVF, but we don't have $15,000, $30,000 to be. Like literally, out. the last school I was at, and we had some, they had paid thirty five thousand dollars in the yeah. process, and we're just like, yeah, whoa, yeah, like, not, can't. that that that's not that's going to be our story. <laughs> wow. wow. So I was like doing research, and I was like, wow, Kadero. I was like, Illinois is one of the states that they cover IVF for the most part, and so we did wow. two rounds of IVF, and it probably came out about twenty five hundred dollars. No, that fifteen fifteen hundred dollars for what? two rounds. Fifteen. Yeah. Wow. And so I was just like looking back. Yes, you lost your job. Yes, it was hard. Yeah, but look, but look, look at the setup, right? Set you yeah. up. Can we get some pictures yeah. to show yeah. this beautiful family with yeah. this baby? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. they ain't the only beautiful you. ones. Yeah. Now. But now the interesting thing is, IVF failed the first time, okay, mm-hmm. oh, and wow. then IVF we conceived, but then we lost that baby. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, God. Oh then you gosh. go back. So to, then we go well, back to questioning God. Yeah. Why like, did you bring us here? Like if if. It know, was, it, this was perfect. This was perfect. Yeah. This was the perfect setup. This was how the story was supposed yeah. to go, but it didn't. 
And so I truly believe, and I don't know if I'm skipping ahead, I don't know if you no, have questions, okay. but I truly believe that it was a thing that God ultimately wants to get the glory at the mm -hmm. end of the day. And so <laughs> I could not high. attribute our pregnancy to IVF. He didn't want me to have the doctors picking yeah. the embryo. He wanted to know exactly which embryo was going to be birthed and grow inside of me. And so it was just one of those things that I'm like, God, we conceive naturally, and so wow. you literally are the only person yeah. that I can yeah. give credit to that. Yeah. What? You know? And yeah. I think the beauty of it, like, when, even when we're saying that, is like, okay, that 2019 we moved to Chicago. We start the we start the IVF process in 2019. Mm -hmm. um, the second round we ended where we miscarried was November of 2019. Okay. 2020 comes along. They're, they asked us, do we want to do a third round? He's like, no, nah, we're not going to mess. Yeah. We're just mentally right there. So yeah. you had already kind of said, we're not going to do we're the not third round. No time yeah. She had a point where it was like, she she had a breakdown, which is like in bed was like, yeah. God, I know I'm supposed to have a child, mm -hmm. but I surrender. I'm tired mm -hmm. of this. And this is the midst of the time I discovered you guys. Yes. Well, yeah, this no. is right before that. So this is, oh. this is probably 2019. 2019. Oh. Yeah, the end of 2019. 2020 oh. is when we started the page. Oh, so what a lot of people don't know is right before we started H&K, that was my moment of how do I get my laugh back? How do I wow. start feeling like myself again? This makes so much sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so right after 2019, and I had that moment where I was like, God, you know what? I'm tired of trying it my way. I'm tired of investing. I'm tired of going on this emotional roller coaster. I was yes. like, the only way I'm going to get pregnant is if you do it. Mm -hmm. You know? And so it was that waiting period of, okay, Hope, let's get up out of the bed. Let's start something new. Yeah. And so we started looking at TikToks and mm -hmm. we were like, Let's just try it. Okay. You know, let's it. just see we what's going to happen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, I want to go backwards because, like I said, this is going to be our next question. Um, during the time you guys got married, you know, everyone gets married, especially when you're young. You just, if you didn't plan out not to have kids, you're thinking you're going to have kids. Yeah. So, with that being said, what was life like? How can you tell someone else, encourage someone else for one? Um, uh, speak to others that know someone that is going through something as um, difficult as, as getting pregnant to say this is how you handle them. These are the questions you don't ask. These are the uh, things you can say. Mm -hmm. How do we help with people that are in that same community and what difficulties did you guys have? Yeah. I'm sure as soon as you get married, as, like, I think after, you know, he's Nigerian. You got to do something like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh so the, the first thing they're going to say, even at your reception is, have lots of babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the next time they see me, when Where will you have Where is my grandchild? Yeah. 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 So yeah. how was that for you guys? I know yeah. we're both like, you know, we're, we're both African-American. So yeah. I don't think the pressure is that strong as yeah. the Nigerian culture. But yeah. I'm sure you guys felt it a lot. Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, when are you guys having a baby? Do you, yeah. or do you feel comfortable telling your loved ones and your friends like we're having difficulties? Or do you just say, you know, let's just keep trying. You know, yeah. let's dive into that. It's funny because one, we... I would say she put a pressure on ourselves too oh, because wow. she was ready from the jump. Right? Okay, wow. you want to kiss? I knew that if God said, "Okay, you guys are married," that meant I had the freedom and the will yeah. and the way yeah. to okay. get pregnant. Right? Yeah. I thought it was gonna be that easy. Yeah. Okay, um, but I will say I feel like society—it's they rush, they mm. rush you, right? So it's like, oh, you know, oh, get married. Yeah. Like, when are you guys gonna have kids? It's yeah. like. Can live for yeah. just a minute yeah. but I was ready like that first year I remember we had a walk down the street and I was like okay so when are we having kids like, yeah. what, what are we doing and I was like well it, mind you we're making a thousand dollars a month so I don't know mentally she was mentally like, I was like, like <laughs> so hey, mentally I was all over the breast milk and top yeah. on <laughs> yeah so we went back and forth just about like the timing of it all um I would say, honestly, I feel like there's so many people that deal with infertility yes. that we are unaware of. Yeah. And wow. so it's now because... I'm sorry, oh, no, we always put it on the woman. You do. Mm -hmm. yes. We always we put it on the woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we always put it on the woman. Um, and I feel like there's so many people dealing with it that now we're in a space where you have to be careful because you don't know what yeah. people are going through mm -hmm. and just being sensitive. And, you know, we would always, especially when we were on social media, oh, we're ready to see the kids. We're ready mm -hmm. to, you know, for a little H&K and, and all that stuff. And I'm like, meanwhile, we're struggling. Like, yeah. we are, um, y yeah, we're struggling. Yeah. It wasn't a thing that we told our family, though, like right out because mm -hmm. um, we actually got pregnant back in 2016. 15, 15, 15 mm -hmm. um, and lost that baby as well. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, so it was one of those things where. And we told immediately. We so, did. And so when we lost it, it was just oh. like. Oh. Yeah. Because like, at that point, we had 
been trying for like six, yeah, years. six years. Yeah. Six years. Mm-hmm. So we were just so excited. We were like, oh, let's tell our family. And then we get back from telling them and we miscarry. And it was one of those things that was the <sighs> toughest text message I had to write. Yeah. You know, they wanted grandchildren. And of then course. you feel this pressure of, I can't produce yeah. what people are wanting around me, Damn. what I want for myself. And so it can get very yeah. lonely and like depressing yeah. and um, all of that stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I would say we didn't really tell people, but I would encourage people to just kind of skirt around it. Like, mm-hmm. you can kind of avoid it, mm-hmm. yeah. like, or ask. I don't even know the right way to ask mm. if I'm honest mm. because I feel like you have to have the right spirit behind it as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Don't be know. Don't be nosy. Yeah. Yeah. When y'all get knocked up, yeah. like that's yeah. not the yeah. you, know, you just never know. But yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know. If it's you, it's the way you ask the question yeah. I think sometimes it's like oh do you guys desire children yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. something simple as that yeah. and they could be a yes and no okay cool and just leave, leave it, it alone there. Yeah. yeah not yeah. necessarily want to go in prime yeah. more yeah. it's just right. do you guys desire kids and I could probably imagine like especially if you have a heart and you care and you love them it's like you guys have, desire to have children mm-hmm. yeah. okay well I pray that God uh, does his yeah. thing when yeah. you guys are ready yeah, yeah. yeah. simple yeah. as that simple as that yeah that's and then really actually go back and yeah. pray. Right. Yeah. Right. Just thank the brain for you. Yeah, people yeah. do that. Fact. Yeah. But I think there's also a thing where um, it, it, it does need to be talked about more. Yeah. Because what happens and what the enemy loves to do is solid, keep us keep in it solitude. Secret. Keep yeah. it a secret. Yeah. You're the only one going through it. it. Yeah. And it's, a, it's one of those things that need the light needs to be brought to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And let's talk about it as a community and know that you're not alone in it. Because mm-hmm. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. And just because, and like you said, it's not just the women. And God's really not right, going to talk right. about it. If yeah, it's yeah, not us, if it's yeah. on us, it's like... Oh, you, yeah. you're not even a man. That's going to take another right. 10 years because yeah. we just got to the point yeah. where the woman could talk exactly. about it. Right. But yeah. I still ain't seen men because I right. still yeah. 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 not talking yeah. about it. Yeah, men still ain't talking yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's one of those things where you have to, we have to bring light to it yes. in a way that people feel safe. Mm. Yeah. And it's it's crazy just to think about like the amount of DMs. After we, we did put out our infertility story yeah. um, and the messages that we got talking about, you know, I felt alone mm. and just watching your story like I know I'm not the only one suffering or I know mm. I'm not the only one going through this and it's kind of I don't know it's sad because it's like we don't feel like we have the safe enough space to talk about what we're going through mm. and like your family should be that your friends should be that mm. but somehow it comes to like this embarrassment or shame yeah. and it's like babe you're not going through this alone yeah. like mm-hmm. there's so many contributing factors yes. to infertility yeah. that it's like okay well maybe if you tweak this this yeah. will help yeah. you do yeah. that or whatever so it's like having that open conversation mm-hmm. and letting people talk at their pace i think mm-hmm. is just so important. good so i mean we hate to 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 think that you know it's a it's not I wouldn't say it's a blessing that we went through all those things, but when you look back you can kind of see God's hand yeah. on, on these things. So what do you guys think is what, what do you guys think you've gained from the losses? I mean from the loss of job to the transitions from the crazy uh, issues you went through. I mean, even the eleven year battle with infertility. What do you think? I'm sure that there's a theme that God is continuing to remind yeah. you guys in your lives. And what, what do you think that theme is? Um SOS. Yep. Mm-hmm. SOS. So mm-hmm. that's so that's that's the signal for help, right? Yes. And so that first S is stillness. Um, because we get so busy. Mm-hmm. And when we get busy, we can't hear from God. Mm-hmm. We don't know what's going on. We're trying to do it our way. We mm-hmm. we just like it, it's the be still and know that I'm God. Yeah. So the only way to know that that he's God is to be still and listen. That's good. That O is obedience. All right. Well, well, let's move when he says move. Let's go when he says go. <laughs> or he's sending people to tell you at some point she told me it's time to go to Chicago. Yeah. This is the <laughs> third call. It's time to go. Yes. Um, when it was a transition out of athletics into this world of just working remotely. Yes. And I didn't know. I was like, I, but all I know is that it's being obedient Dang. because within that obedience, three things happen. We got a new house in Chicago. We found out we were pregnant. I got the job. My All gosh. in being right. obedience to say, wow. all right, I'm going to do this. And yes. another is to surrender. Wow. Yeah. Not our will, God, your will. Dang. Amen. And, yeah, go oh, I was going to say, and I think it's just, it's so important. I feel like for me as well, I totally agree with that. And I feel like God is always saying, just trust me. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> You want to do it on your time. You want to think that you have everything figured out. But ultimately, it's God's plan, right? Mm-hmm. So even when I think about our daughter, Novi, 
Oh. She had to be born at this particular mm-hmm. time. God knows exactly what generation she needs to yes. affect. God knows exactly yes. how she's going to impact this world. Right. The timing. Right. So it's like when you realize that your life is not about you Dang. and it's about so many other people, mm-hmm. it's like now it's like, okay, God, you got yeah. it. You're, you're the man, you know? And it's just, it's beautiful just to reflect over those moments and see God just being consistent, even when mm-hmm. we weren't consistent in our yeah. faith, even when we weren't consistent in obedience, like God has never changed. Yeah. So that's the ongoing, I feel like in, in my life is God has always showed up, even yeah. when we did it. Yeah. That's a, my brother, uh, Will, and I'll let you ask this last question before we go into the game. Uh, he said something on our live that we did. He talked about God has particular declarations that he's already made about each and every one mm-hmm. of us, plans yeah, yeah, yeah. that he's already instituted. Mm-hmm. And it's, it might be possible that saying yes to you mm-hmm. might distort and detract his plans for oh. others. Mm-hmm. And so him yeah. say, saying yes to you two years into you asking for it may have had her born in a situation and a place that would have harmed God's plan Mm -hmm. and destination so sometimes like I always say this if God gives it, it's his goodness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If he withholds it, it's his wisdom. Yeah. God knows what he's doing yeah. because he's not just seeing your desire and what's in front of you. Yeah. He sees the end from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was like, I know where I want Novi to go to school. Yeah. I know how I want her, where I want her to be. I know where I want, I know how, how I know what maturity level that I want Kadero at when she's born. Yeah. Like all of this, that's good. I know what yes. losses he has to endure mm-hmm. before yeah. he's prepared enough to mm-hmm. be the, the type of father that's going to raise yeah. him. Yes. And I care about her and I care about you. Yes. So when I answer prayers, I got everything, yeah, everything. Yeah. in consideration. Yeah. And I call so it de- delayed blessings, greater purpose. <laughs> all yeah. right. Yeah. It's those delayed yeah. blessings because there's a greater purpose. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo. Okay, so yeah. I'm next, next. Y'all, y'all. Yeah. I just want to say, I, I, you can edit this out, but I see such a light on you guys. Like, I was just telling my husband recently, like, I said, I'm going to have to talk to God about this because lately when he be telling me about people, I, like, feel it. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't like that when you tell me to pray for you. like, pray. Because yeah. this, he makes me feel their hurt. But right now, mm-hmm. speaking to you guys, I see such a light over you. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, God, bless them, whatever it is, because I know you trust them. He mm-hmm. trusts mm-hmm. you guys. Mm-hmm. And, Thank like, I, I, I feel it so much. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, God gonna do something. It's, it's amazing. Come on, Let me prophesy. get to this next I one. Know that's right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, cry. so um, I had to stop because I didn't, didn't want to do that. I put these lashes on myself. <laughs> yeah, you know when that glue is the, 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 the home glue ain't right. same as it. It's shot glue. It's bad. When it comes to roles, um, it's, it's so many people, you know, we see online, well, I asked her to cook for me. I said, well, you going, uh, how go? I asked her to cook for me. She said, are you going to change my tires? Like, we put these roles on men and mm. women. How do you guys feel about that when it comes to marriage? Are you still traditional? I'm sure. I think growing up, I saw my mom do a lot of stuff that be like, those are women things. Mm. But now that my parents are not together, I see my dad doing a lot of things with his wife that necessarily... He would have never, you know, did because my mom yeah. did it. So how do you guys think that, how do you feel that impacts the culture today? How do you guys go about it? And where do you stand with that? <laughs> that's, oh, that's so a loaded question. Because the, the, when I think about how it impacts the culture today, mm-hmm. um, that, that traditional mm-hmm. way of thinking, almost the media thing that people think about is, the submission piece yeah. and like oh I'm not submitting yeah. to my to no man and mm-hmm. he's not gonna be telling me and there's you gotta read the context of that word when yeah. he talks about yeah. that because we started at the point of wives submit yeah. to, unto your husbands mm-hmm. the verse before that talks about submitting to one another yeah. come on now yeah. so I have to submit first I'm submitting to God yes. but then there's submission that yes. comes from yeah. because if she he gave her to me yes. for help that yeah. means I'm gonna have to submit to the help hello if I can't do it on my own I need help in doing it so uh, if she has an idea <laughs> if she has an idea I need to be able to submit to that yeah. idea um, and then uh, then the next thing is now I'm now loving her as Christ loved the church and mm. gave his life. So that means I die. Come mm. on, bro. Come I on. die to ego. I yeah. die to pride. Yes. I die to lust. I, die. I am dying constantly to this. So when we talk about gender roles, mm. I die to the fact that I think I can't wash the dishes and Hello. I'm too good yeah. for that. Let's yeah. go. do the laundry. Mm. It's what the, what is like I, the message about talks about doing what is best for her. Mm. Wow. 
what is best? What does she need? She's been all day with Novi. Mm. I can make dinner. Yeah. Come on. I can be washing the clothes. Yeah. I can be doing whatever because that's what's best for her and mm-hmm. I am doing that I for love her. That. Oh my God. And I think it's just a maturity factor yeah. as well. Like you have to be mature. Okay. If you see something that looks wrong around the house, just yeah. pick it up. Like, uh, right. I mean, it's, yeah. it doesn't have to be a gender right. role. Like, yeah, right. there's yeah. dirty tissue on the floor. Yeah. Just get it. Yeah. Um, but I, I will say like, Kadero does an excellent job with that. Like there are some things, I'm not going to lie, that like he normally does the trash or recycle, yeah. Like, yeah. stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. When he's gone, I'll do it, whatever. But it's like, we do have those little things like mm-hmm. that. But it's like for the most part, we're not tripping about it. If we yeah. just see a need that needs to be met, like that's why that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's whatever happen. makes sense. Because then they're supposed to be serving one another. Each other. Yeah. Come on. Uh-huh. Just right. we're walking like Jesus, who came here not to be served, but to serve. But to yeah. serve. Yeah. Walking like that, I mean, we're serving each other. So, so what is that? Y'all making it complicated. Y'all yeah. gotta be that complicated. It doesn't have more. To be that. I can't agree more. It doesn't have to be that complicated. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Man. Well. We're, we're getting to the place where we have to play this game with y'all. We just want to see how y'all navigate this. this. We actually had a real tangible game called Ignite for Mar- Married Couples to Ignite um, their love, but also the depth of their relationship. Because oftentimes we Netflix and we'll watch a movie together and go to sleep or we want to we want to get intimate. But how yeah. intimate do we do we get with conversation? Yeah. And so this is a, a game that allows us to get intimate in conversation. So uh, I'm going to. We have to let them go first. We have to let oh, our guests go first. We don't want to show them how to do it. Yeah, oh, I want show them. Show yeah. Oh, because I always say we don't want to repeat the question that you guys can ask, but we'll do. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a good one. Yeah, you could, you this could is avoid. the first time. We, we, this is the first for a lot of things. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Normally we always let the guests go first, but okay. okay. So I'm I'm gonna look at mine and you could just hold okay, to look at my yours. Dead, so. All right, dang. Okay. So I will kick this one off, and uh, life without you would be devastating because. You are, man. See, every time I start going into this stuff, I start getting emotional. And I, it's okay. I've never I'm felt a, emotional before. It's okay. It's I, me. I love, I love it. Come on, bro. I just, you're, you're, you're my person. You know how they say that? You're just my person. I cannot imagine. I feel like if I did not have you, I wouldn't have motivation to do a lot of the stuff that I do. You're like my drive. You're my fuel. Uh, you're my friend. When my, my favorite times is just being with you when we get in bed and it's just me and you together <laughs> just like not, just, sitting there. Oh, okay. just sitting together <laughs> riding together okay. uh, just in the gym together like we're always together and I just can't imagine having to navigate life you bring me balance um, I, I'm better with you there's so much that I, so many blind spots that I have that I did not know, know that I had until you called them out. You challenged me to be better. You I mean, you you cross my T's, you dot my eyes. It's just it's just everything. And just we we connect so well, even like our core values are just in sync. I just could not imagine living life. I, I, I could say I could live but I definitely would not be happy. I would not feel fulfilled. I would not have the drive to be and do everything that I do. That was sweet. That was sweet. Okay, here's mine. Dang, now I feel like I got to talk more. You don't have to talk. That's just me. (laughs) She hit him with one line. I love it when boom. (laughs) (laughs) No, he's great with words. That's why he's great with words. No, I'm not saying that's why, but I I keep it short sometimes. Um, Where's mine? Oh, one of my fondest memories with you is we have so much. We we laugh a lot. Mm. But I think just meeting you are like... When I first met you, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot imagine being without this guy. Really? And to this day, like, we, we just make really, even when we laugh, the stuff that we laugh about, <laughs> I, like, <laughs> she knows the, the, yeah, stuff, the inside mm-hmm. stuff that we yeah. laugh about, I'm like, how this dumb joke is just so funny to yeah. me and you. That's um, true. And if I try to tell it to somebody else, they won't even, I'm like, why are you not laughing? <laughs> That's <laughs> we have some inside That's inside. Yeah. <laughs> so my fondest memory is meeting you because that has just set a, a lifetime of just other great memories. But if yeah. we didn't have that first one, then we wouldn't have all the other great like, memories. Even without the beard, like if I take this beard off, do you still like me? Yeah, I met you without a beard. You was cute. You oh, was cute. Not cute. You was cute. <laughs> <laughs> you was cute. <laughs> all right. Now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Y'all tell me. All right. So, uh, which one does? Okay. One personality trait that I would wish I could borrow from you is your your vision. Mm. Um, Like I have vision for our life and family, but like 
everything that you see for our future, mm. you have this like clear vision and then you're the optimism and faith where I become very realistic in it really quick. Um, you are the type where you, you will take a vision and you are very faith filled with it. You believe it from the jump. If God said it, it's going to happen and you're ready to go after it. And I, um, I admire that about you. I, I, I wish I can borrow that mm. and not get into this media. Oh, how is it going to happen? And mm. get the realistic, oh, it's going to take this amount of money. Mm. God. Like, mm. It's just yeah. believe it. Um, mm. and just be ready to run with it. And who, it doesn't matter when it's going to happen. You saw it. Mm. Um, and so I, I love that about you. Oh, I feel like we're in the same vein. Well, her name is Hope. You yeah, know, yeah. She's a manifestation of it. I love that. Oh, my. Yeah, I feel like we're in the same vein because the question I chose was, it excites me when you. Right. Um, so it excites me when you fully trust God. Wow. So those moments where you don't see the money in the account, mm. but God gave me a word about something, and you're like, <laughs> All right, God told you I'm trusting that, right? Wow. Or when you have faith for something or you become optimistic mm. and you become like, okay, well, if God, I, I've just seen that growth in you. And so it just excites me when even now you are hearing from God mm -hmm. a lot clearer than I feel like you were before. So seeing you hear from God and now mm. acting on it or trusting the words that he shared with me and backing me up 100%, like that just excites me when I see you take that step of faith and that leap. So. I love it. This oh, is beautiful. Like that. That's so this is nice. nice. Yeah, y'all yeah. yeah. all thinking one accord. You, you said yeah. something. She talked about what you said. Oh, that was man. great. I love it. Okay, help okay. me. I didn't, help I didn't me. read nothing right. yet. Oh, you already mine. got yours? I got mine. Okay, oh. so my turn. And this section is help me. <clears throat> How can I serve you better in your love languages? Hmm. <laughs> you already know. Because <laughs> I love order and organizing. It's, it's nothing more. I'd be trying to tell her to me. service. It's not mm. service. It's just when I ask you to do it, don't. Even though he always say he he's plain, mm. I would like he hear me like oh, and I'm like I don't want to hear it. Oh. Yeah. Cause then, cause that's then I'm gonna real. say you know what I do myself. Yeah. I'm that's, like, that's oh, just so plain. Real. But yeah. I know I'm already asking you a sensitive uh, question because I know you don't want to do it. So if I yeah. hear you complaining or play complaining, <laughs> then I'm gonna get in my feelings to say okay, don't help me at all. Yeah. So don't face. complain or play <laughs> complain. When I ask you to help me with That's something. the one thing I just be like tripping out because I'm like, you've been with me for so long and you know I'll be playing. <laughs> but do you, look, do you like to help me? I clean, like. Cleaning up? No, I like to clean. Huh? I mean, huh? it, it's not that bad. But when she does that, I be like, here we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I just be playing. <laughs> okay, okay. But she, like, I had to learn like, okay. I, my kids always say, Daddy, why do you play and mommy doesn't? I'm like, mommy don't play. She don't it's play. It's not that I don't play. I want my kids to believe me when I say something. He like, likes to play like tricks on and, and praise. So I'm like, why you want to do that? So when my kids mm. ask me something, I want them to actually believe me. Like, if I say, come this way, yeah. I want them to know to come this way. Not just, yeah, so like, yeah. Trust me. Okay, yeah. Whatever. We got to ask several times. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? For real? My next okay. one. How can you loosen up? <laughs> I thought this was you asking me. Anyway. I got you, anyway. baby. I got you. Anyway. I'm, I'm going to do better with being in order anyway. and helping you out without complaining or All playing right. about it. This is funny. I'm getting ready to ask this, too. Well, Wait, how well you, do I handle conflict? You know, we done. I didn't ask you. I thought yeah. you did. When? Oh, that was my You one. asked me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. 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 Really yeah. Oh. Oh. How oh. I okay. 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 No. How well do I handle conflict? Oh man, you are like for real, for real. Like no, I'm asking you, I'll bring up the topic seven times, and I'll be like, "How do you think I did that?" You are the example. That? Okay, because I've now, really been working especially, on myself. especially now. No, I'll say this: I, I can't say I would have known how you would have been with conflict when we first kind of yeah. got married. I ignored and I don't, it. Yeah, I don't think you really handled conflict. I didn't see it, but as we started to go further into it, you and. You really value relationships. That's what I see. So when you handle conflict, it's reflective of how you value relationships. I've seen you have some of the toughest conversations with people that have slighted you, offended you, and you being honest with them 
sharing what you feel, and you just fighting to preserve a relationship. It is something that is so admirable. I love the way you think and the way that you're able to identify things that I would have never saw. Mm -hmm. God really gives you a good discernment, good insight when it comes to handling conflict. So I definitely admire Thanks. you. I, really I think it's part of me. your ministry. Like, yeah, because why keep coming to me? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I'm know. like, hold up. Yeah. Hold up. They just tried me last week. Now you're a new person. Uh -huh. Like, why you keep bringing this to me? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, that, I've probably been exercising yeah. this oh, a lot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You're, you're a bodybuilder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Okay. All right. You go first. Okay. Kadero. Yeah. Let's see here. Um, what are a few things I can do on a weekly basis mm. that make you feel desired by me? Dang, mm -hmm. a weekly? Dang. That's right. On a weekly <laughs> basis. Uh-huh. Um. Oh, I would say you did it once not too long ago. Um, and if that's like a weekly thing or multiple, it doesn't. I don't. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. I like it. Yeah. Okay. What are we talking about? <laughs> we were usually we kind of just you know days over. We put the movie down. We chill and we go out and watch TV. And then it's like okay, we're gonna we go to bed, go to sleep. But you was like, hey, uh, turn the TV off. Do that, you know, put the dishes up and meet me in the bedroom for something. Put the dishes up. <laughs> <laughs> a tray, a tray. Yeah, yeah. it's a tray for a tray, but I'm okay, because you know I'm good with the dishes. I'm yeah. good with that. Yeah. And uh, meet me in the bedroom for a little sexy time. And it's just like, sexy time. I don't oh, think I said sexy time. You said sexy time. Said sexy time. Yeah, you oh. said sexy time. Oh. Uh, and then uh, you came down a little number one by the time I was in there. By the so time you I want got that there. weekly? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's that that little off with some yeah. cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little initiation right. there. But it was yeah. like, that, and I got to the dishes was good it. because it gave her time to do yeah. what she needed yeah. to do to get her number. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's so a little piece. Okay. A little piece that I had. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. What motivated you to do that like that? Because I feel like it had been a minute. Okay. And I was like, I always want to... Spice Not let it get dry. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. just kind of spice it up a little yeah. bit. So I was like, I feel like we we get in the routine of yeah. you know, you eat dinner, yeah. you watch shows, yeah. you go to bed or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So I was like, let's just do something different. Yeah. Okay. Just, okay. Give me a number. Yeah, yeah. get a number. No, 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 get a few numbers. Yeah. <laughs> get a few, right? Oh my. Because if we're gonna do this weekly, I'm like, right? I'm saying, let me have a It's okay, but if you know something right there, I want to see Superwoman, Catwoman, all of it. Hello. Oh. All right. This is what I just think about because of the season we're going into. How can I bring you peace? Mm. I think you can add to my peace by, um, I think just being um, proactive, right? Mm. So if you see like a need or, you know, Novi is just being Novi, <laughs> you know, in those moments, yeah. like just kind of be proactive and um, encourage me to step away for a minute, take mm. a breath, um, collect myself, come back. Um, but yeah, I think just just being proactive mm. with, um, or more proactive because you have been proactive. Yeah. Just more proactive. What are you? About and to say? no, I was about to oh. say proactive to let you kind of get away for a moment. Yes, mm. get yeah. away for a moment. Mm. Take that nap. Every yeah. moment, take that. Yeah. I do need a nap. Oh my goodness! Look, because homegirl can wear me out. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I get yeah, that. Yeah, sometimes yeah. men need that reminder because sometimes y'all make it look easy mm -hmm. and we feel like, okay, if you handle that, then let me do these things. Mm -hmm. But handling yeah. a small child yeah. Yeah. is everything that we do times 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I, I feel that yeah. too. But I'm, I don't have no babies, but she definitely has got on me a number of times about, yeah. hey, can you ask me? Yeah. <laughs> can I help you yeah. this moment? Yeah. Yeah. And I think right now I say that season because the podcast and yeah. just oh, more God, yeah. every day with HA, yeah. just more we have since the beginning of the year we have yeah we can see Taking God lot. Yeah. we can see God expanding us even in relationships with people and yeah. getting around folks and we had this there was a moment of like oh snap we haven't taken time for just each other like yeah. we have been pouring into so many yeah, others and doing that. double dates it's like My yeah. oh snap we haven't been on a date night ourselves Dang. Dang. and it's like Ooh. oh no mm, yeah. ask for forgiveness yeah. 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 That was not a priority, oh, yeah. so we yeah. had to kind of make that shift. Wow. I get it. Because you, you want to serve others, but yeah. you can't 
pour you can't pour out from empty, empty, empty cups. Cup. So yeah. let me tell you guys something. Somebody was blessed today. Yeah. Like I know you guys are just being Even yourselves. Me. I yeah. was yeah. blessed. Yeah. Like this was really, Thanks, really so guys. good. Hopefully one day we could we could jump on y'all podcast and we yes. can talk to you. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Well, my dad's from no. Oklahoma. We not in Oklahoma. We come to Oklahoma quite often. So yeah. We in Oklahoma City. Okay, yeah, it's like an hour and a half. Yeah, it's like an hour and a half. Further than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Y'all coming to the podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Let's yeah. Let's okay. Man, thank yeah. you guys for being thank with you us. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, man. And y'all, if you guys want to follow H and K, Hope and Kadera, how can they follow you guys? Yeah. yeah, you can follow us on all the socials every day with HK. Um, and then our podcast is at the marriage altar, and that's A L T A E R. Um, we drop we drop episodes every Wednesday. Wow, All right. that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Absolutely. I'm gonna start tuning in because I haven't. Yeah. I haven't. You dropped one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. dropped one. One just dropped to start. today. So oh, yeah. two today. Yeah. 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 Also, how amazing yeah. that you guys yeah. are here. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Love you guys. Thank, Thank you guys. You guys. Appreciate it.